Hi guys, welcome back to a new movie reaction. It is Forrest Gump. I am absolutely thrilled and over the moon to be watching this movie. It is a long time coming. One that I wish I definitely, as you all know, or you're new, I watched such like classics with my dad mostly, but one of these movies that I haven't watched is happens to be Forrest Gump. And it's a shock, yes, but I am super excited to get into it nonetheless my voice is gone it's absolutely cold out here in the uk so uh apologies for that i've just recovered from a cold it's 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 getting really chilly inside the house so apologies for that i mean we have reached the december season as you can see from the tinsel at the back let's just dive right into this movie and see what is it for me but i am very glad that this is one of the recommended movies because it has been something I've been meaning to watch a long time. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have it and let me know down in the comments what I should watch next. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the new movie, Forest Cup. Robert Zemeck's film. Okay. Oh, look at that. My name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. My mom always said life was like mm -hmm. a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I wish I had shoes like that. My feet hurt. I've worn lots of shoes. All right, Forrest. You can open your eyes now. But we're going to straighten him right up now, aren't we, Forrest? Forrest. The great Civil War hero, General Well, we Nathan saw that, Bedford. well, I don't know if she said he we had it when he was older. This club called the Ku Klux Klan, they'd all dress up in their robes and their bed sheets and act like a bunch wow. of ghosts, or spooks or something. Tell you they're better than you, Forrest. Mom always had a way of explaining things so I could understand them. Oh. Mama was a real smart lady. Remember what I told you, Forrest. You're no different than anybody else is. You're Actually Forrest, good. different. His IQ is 75. Yes. He's not going to some special school to learn how to retread tires. There must be something can be done. Is that Mr. Gump? Vacation? Where Daddy went. Vacations when you go somewhere. Mm. And you don't ever come back. With travelers, you know, and was staying with us, <laughs> and he had him a guitar case. <laughs> Say, man, show me that crazy little walk you just did there. Slow it down some. I started moving around to the music. I'm sorry, what? Swinging my hips. Now, oh, yeah, it is. Mom was out shopping, and we walked right by Benson's Furniture and Appliance Store. And guess what? This is not for children's eyes. He hit himself a heart attack or something. Oh, it's funny how you remember some things, but some things you can't. Are you going along? Mama said not to be taking rides from strangers. This is a bus to school. Well, now we ain't strangers anymore. Slate's oh. taken. We can't sit here. Sweetest voice in the wide world. You can sit here if you want. I have never seen anything so beautiful in my life. There's no one ever talked to me or asked me questions. Huh. 
From that day on, we was always together. Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. She helped me learn how to safe? read. Yo! And I showed her how to swing. My only friend. Are you proud or just playing stoop? Run, Forrest! Run away! Hurry! <laughs> okay. But I can run like the wind blows. I was running. <laughs> She lived in a house that was always Alabama. Come on. Where are you at? Play with me, Forrest. Play with me. Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far, far away from here. He didn't turn Jenny into a bird that day. She went to live with her grandma just over on Creekmore Avenue. Which made me happy, because she was so close. Jenny and me was best friends all the way up through high school. Hey, stupid! Quit it! Run for it! Get in the truck! Get in the truck! Let's move it! Come on, let's get the way! Move it! Okay, so now he doesn't have a leg issue. He's running properly. I ran to get where I was going. I never thought it would take me anywhere. <coughs> <coughs> Have those buddies. Who in the hell is that? I got to go to college too. Run! Okay! Run! Run! What is it saying? Run! 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 Really fast. He must be the stupidest son of a bitch alive. Not raccoons, you idiot niggas. And they want to go to school with us. Well, here today is federal soldiers from Alabama. Ma'am, you dropped your book. Ma'am. The bus is here. It was co-ed. Because Jenny went to a college I couldn't go to. I don't know why I... Chocolate. He isn't good. Sorry. You could see he literally gave up. I'll go back to my college now. Who are you going to be? Aren't oh, I going to be me? Another kind of you. I want to be a singer like Joan Baez. An empty stage, my guitar, my voice. Um, I want to reach people on a personal level. I want to say things. Just wow, one to one. shit. If she's his friend and they're... Another girl, Forrest? Okay. Right. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I'm dizzy. But that never happened in home act. I mean, I did not notice you there, babe. David well done. Good job. David put me on a thing the All-America team. President Kennedy met with the collegiate All-American football team at the Oval Office today. Put you in this little room with just about anything you want to eat or drink. I must have drank me about 15 Dr. Peppers. Congratulations. How does it feel to be an All-American? Very good, sir. Congratulations. How do you feel? I got a pay. Sometime later, for no particular reason, somebody shot that nice young president. Of course, I'm so proud of you. Have you given any thought to your future? Hello, I'm Forrest. Forrest Gump. Nobody gives a husky shit who you are, Pussball! Seat's taken. Sit down if you want to. You ever been on a real shrimp boat? <laughs> My given name is Benjamin Buford Blue. People call me Bubba. Go! What's your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant. God damn it, Gump! You're a goddamn genius. Why, you must have a goddamn IQ of 160. Is that clear? Yes, yes drill sergeant. Okay. You can... Done, drill sergeant. Jesus wow. Jesus Christ. This is a new company record. I'd recommend you for OCS Private Gump. We'd lay there in our bunks, and I'd miss my mama. And I'd miss Jenny. Get a load of the tits on her. Turns out, Jenny had gotten into some trouble over some photos of her in her college sweater. Let's give a big round of applause to the luscious Bobby Dylan. <laughs> Before. Her dream had come true. She to get her harmonica. Yeah. Oh, Forrest, what are you... Hey, Forrest, let me... Dial! Oh. You 
can't keep doing this, Forrest. You can't keep trying to rescue me all the time. I can't help it. I love you. Clean you knows what love is. Pray, Forrest. I think I can fly off this bridge. Bye bye, Jenny. Just if you're ever in trouble, don't try to be brave. You just run, okay? Just run away. Okay. I write you all the time. You come back safe. Oh, Forrest. Always looking for this guy named Charlie. So he'd tell us to get down, shut up. It started raining, and it didn't quit for four months. I even wrote Jenny and told her all about it. I'd always let her know that I was okay. Somebody turned off the rain, and the sun come out. What? Okay. Baba. So fast that pretty soon I was all by myself. Bubba was my best good friend. I had to make sure that he was okay. You leave me here. Get away. Just leave me here. Get out. God, I said leave me here. God damn it. Jumped up and bit me. I didn't ask you to pull me out of there. God damn you. Where the hell you think you're going? I got an airstrike inbound right now. They're gonna nate the whole area. I gotta find Bubba. Okay, Boris. Known this was going to be the last oh, time thank you God. was going to talk. Thank God, thank God. I thought of something better to say. Hey, Bubba. No. Hey, Forrest. Bubba said something I won't ever forget. I want to go home. That's all I had to say about that. Lieutenant Dane, I got you some ice cream. Lieutenant Dane, ice cream. Harper? You know how to play this? No matter what happens, never, ever take your eye off the ball. Ping pong? See, any idiot can play. I Beyond borderline addicted to it. I played ping pong even when I didn't have anyone to play ping pong with. President Johnson awarded four medals of honor to men from each of the armed services. America owes you a debt of gratitude, son. I understand you were wounded. Where were you hit? Yeah. There was this man giving a little talk. What are we doing? Tell us a little bit about the war, man. There's only one thing I can say about the war in Vietnam. In Vietnam, you're. <laughs> How are you talking to your head in this goddamn boiler? That's all I have to say about uh -oh, that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Forrest Gump! Oh! Jenny and me was just like peas and carrots. Oh, I can imagine! Shut that blonde man and get your white ass away from that window. Baby killer. Die for a country that what, hates them. What's happening? Yes, we are against any war where black soldiers go to fight and come to be Sorry. brutalized and killed in their own communities. And and oh, there you Stop it! Punch it, Forrest! I do, do not! I would never hurt you, Jenny. I know you wouldn't, Forrest. I wanted to be your boyfriend. So why are you letting people do this, babe? We walked around <laughs> all night, Jenny and me, just talking. She told me about all the traveling she'd done. Everybody want to go to San Francisco? I'll go. Wish you wouldn't go, Jenny. I have to, Forrest. I want you to have this. Why are you so good to me? You're my girl. Because he loves you. 
but instead they decided the best way for me to fight the communists was to play ping pong. The army decided that I should be on the All America ping pong team. Size and see. Oh God, with John Lennon, Dad. Lieutenant Dan. Mm -hmm. They gave you the Congressional Medal of Honor. Really love us, Dad. found Jesus yet, no? I didn't know I was supposed to be looking for him, so. I made me a promise to Bubba in Vietnam that as soon as the war yeah. was over, we'd go in partners. He'd be the cat most shrimp boat and I'd be his first mate. Three, two, one, <laughs> What did you say? Yeah, he's your friend stupid or something. Hey, don't call him stupid! A few months later, and I met the president of wow. the United States again. Coach Yes, sir! As you were. I wonder what this people. mom is doing. Service is up, son. Does ah. this mean I can't play ping pong no more? My service in the United States Army was over, so My I God. went home. But mama had all sorts of visitors. One man even left a check for $25,000. If you'd be agreeable to saying you like using their paddle. Hey, Bubba, it's me, Forrest Gump. Got it all figured out. I'd never named a boat before. Beautiful name in the wide world. And I hope that whatever she was doing made her happy. to be away from him anymore. Uh. <laughs> oh. uh, the boat. What are you doing here? Well, thought I'd try out my sea legs. But you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Day. You wrote me a letter. <laughs> I am a man of my word. Okay. <laughs> um. Um. My boat. Over there! They're over there! That's where we're gonna find those shrimp, my boy! Ha -ha! You! What? Your head? Now, me, I was scared. But Lieutenant Dan, he was mad. Only one shrimping boat actually survived the storm. For that, shrimping was easy. Since people still need it. We were the only boat left standing. We got more money than David Crockett. <laughs> I never thanked you for saving my life. <laughs> oh, God, I can't take it. Hi, force. Why are you dying, Mama? Jeez. Death is just a part of life. I happen to believe you make your own destiny. You have to do the best with what God gave you. What's my destiny, Mom? You're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. Though he did take care of my Bubba Gump money, he got me invested in some kind of fruit company. Now, Mama said there's only so much fortune a man really needs, and the rest is just for showing off. So, I gave a whole bunch of it to the Four Square Gospel Church. Oh, God. Jenny came back and stayed with me. I'd pick pretty flowers and put them in a room for her. Oh, my God! That is amazing. She even showed me how to dance. Will you marry me? Oh, wow. I'd make a good husband. It Ted's question that yeah. first. It Ted's. You don't want to marry me. Not that she doesn't love you. It's just you're too I'm good for us. I'm not a smart man. But I know what oh, love is. Oh, not that. Forrest. Oh, I like kids.
Oh, never mind. Yo, that came off very easily. No, why are you leaving? No, Jenny. Is he running to get her? For no particular reason, I decided to go for a little run. You're kidding. A lot of charts. So, I got company. And after that, I got more company. And then, even more people joined in. Forest. I'm pretty tired. Thank, Thank God. God. Home now. And just like that. Walk with him. My running days was over. One day, Seriously. out of blue clear sky, I got words. a letter from Jenny. That's awesome. So, I everyone getting a shot. Savannah and, and see her, and that's what I'm doing here. Hey! Forrest! How you doing? Hey. Come in, come in. I want to apologize for anything that I ever did to you, because... Hello, friend from Alabama. Oh, how'd you do? Hi to him. Hello, Mr. Gump. Hello. Wow! Forrest. What? Like me. What? After his daddy. He got a daddy named Forrest too. Oh! You're his daddy, Forrest. Isn't he beautiful? The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh my God! <laughs> Quite the bomb, there, babe. Is is he smart? He's very smart. He's one of the smartest in his class. This is just asking. Stop it. Yeah, it's okay. Go talk to him. He's already worried about him. I'm sick. What? You have a cough? Um, it's cold? something or the other, babe. I have some kind of virus. And the, the doctors don't... They don't know what it is. You could come home with me. I'll take care of you if you're sick. Would you marry me for us? Okay. Sorry, I literally thought it was Lady Di for a second there. No way! fish a lot and every night we read a book you're so smart Jenny you'd be so proud of him <laughs> oh god oh god that buzz oh my buzz. god look at that she okay. prayed that she could fly away hi Forrest Oh, I want to tell you I love you. I love you too, Daddy. I'll be right here when you get back. <laughs> I can't. This, this was... Oh, jeez. Damn, what a movie good I, i'm actually gonna cry a lot right now so i'm just gonna try quickly like express my thoughts it was a beautiful film i loved it i, I loved everything about the idea of the story and forrest himself and you know his his timeline his uh his life with jenny him you know his time at the war with baba gum shrimp that uh, Lieutenant Dan, his mom, and then now his kid. It's like the circle of life is continuing, and oh god, and his destiny like what his destiny was. Oh, and that feather, jeez. 
it's because of Tom Hanks' acting that really got me. I just think that he really gets into that character so well and his eyes are just, oh God, it's so good. It's of course the corresponding characters that come into the screen, Jenny, um, his mom, Lieutenant Dan, they're all such a big part to how he reacts and how his scenes turn out. And it's, it's so it's not just Tom Hanks, it's everyone around him, like every single thing, even the setting of uh, his life is so perfect. The part that really got me the most, I think what started it off is when Lieutenant Dan said, thank you for saving me. Oh God, I can't, that just that got me so well because I knew it was coming in a weird way. And, you know, of course, it's like the first phase is anger. He has to, he, of course, feels that he should have died and he should, he wasn't worthy of being saved. And now he will be called or crippled for the rest of his life. But then, you know, once that settles that he is, you know, he's okay and that someone saved him regardless. And he has to accept that and live with it. And just the fact that he had to say, thank you for saving my life. Oh, I just knew it. Like that would get me, and I, I kind of anticipated it, but it just when it happened, yeah, I, I I broke down. Jenny, I felt so much for her. Like I felt she was uh, she's been left down so much by specifically everything, ex excluding Forrest, of course, but every single man in her life, she's never had like a father. Her father was of course like you know abusing her, and she never had. A role model she did have a mom who she could speak to about certain things and she lost her innocence so young that every single path that she was on she was not able to really take care of herself and you know when she said that you don't want to be with someone like me I understood what she said because she doesn't want Forrest she, she knows that Forrest is too worthy and it's not because she feels like she's unworthy it's just the fact that she knows that Forrest not only thinks so highly of her when she knows that she sh he shouldn't, but at the same time, it's just like, I don't wanna, I know Forrest is such a pure heart and with the things that I've seen, he deserves the best girl. Like that's her love for Forrest. That's like, she knows that he deserves the world. And I just, that scene, like that entire element where she, said you don't want to be with someone like me. It was not the fact that she was putting herself down, it's just because she knows Forrest's worth. I just love that. That's where you can see how selfless she was. Like she's such a amazing person that despite it all, she's like, that was the one man that she, oh fuck. Like she, she knows that she, you know, like because everyone around her has been such a disappointment, specifically the men, that this is the only man that she can put on a pedestal still and say, I've done good, I have the friend and I don't want him to be tarnished because of me. I just love it. I just love it. It's just so sad because and then you see from Jenny's perspective, I mean from Forrest's perspective, he gets he she does no wrong in her eyes and she's like her perfect girl. He always calls my Jenny. She's my girl. And oh, it's just, that's it. Like there is no denying it. He does not care about anything. And that's not him being stupid. That's just plain love because in that one moment when she chose to be sweet and give, ask him to sit down and, you know, like save him from in a way where she said, you know, run forest, run. Like when she, when she was able to long shot like take care of him it's like angelic voice that she has like of course i completely understand from his perspective oh i love this movie it's it's so sad because it's such a it's got such a nice story to it and it's so touching oh and all the people that were listening in specifically the last grandma she sat through the through i'm so done for today for those asking if i've watched green mile i have myself unfortunately the reaction that I've uploaded, yes, it is really, really short because of the fact that I had no way around the system of the movie copyrights and when I uploaded it, I didn't know what I was doing. So I just uploaded it, but maybe I can watch it with, you know, say a best friend and, you know, can upload a new reaction to it. But I've personally watched The Green Mile and it's already up in the channel as well, but uh, you can watch the full reaction on my Patreon because it's much better edit of course again maybe i can watch it with a friend if you know anything else that i should watch and i will definitely keep an eye out until then see you in the next one and take care have a great day bye